All right, you guys, we got another great video, really simple and easy for the family. Real quick, simple ingredients. We're gonna make a beef pot pie, you guys. Let's get into the ingredients. We're gonna do, like I said, it's gonna be real simple and easy, real quick. You know, these are for the college students or a family, you know, that doesn't wanna uh, take a long time to cook, or as well as a single person. You know, these are gonna be simple and easy, nothing from scratch other than putting it in the oven. All right, so get two cans of Campbell. You know, what I got was a steak and potato and one with an old fashioned uh, vegetable beef. Now these two make up a great beef pot pie. All the ingredients you need in a pot pie. And last but not least, your, uh, your bottom crust and your top crust. Now, what we're gonna do is first, let's get over to the oven. And we're gonna bake our, you know what I'm saying, bottom crust first, because you don't want a soggy crust. Now, if you notice when you put everything together, you always it will always be some, somewhat soggy. But we're gonna pre-cook the bottom crust so it can hold, you know, uh, um, the moisture of the pot, you know, the filling. So first thing first, we will, before we stick it in the oven on 450 degrees, I mean 400 degrees, uh, make sure you preheat your oven on 400 degrees before you stick it in. We're gonna actually poke some holes at the bottom. The reason for doing this is so the pie crust at the bottom doesn't rise as it's baking in the oven. Now we're not gonna bake it all the way through, you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna bake it slightly where it's a little bit firm, and then we're gonna take it out and put the fill in it. So let's put it in the oven. Okay, so now we put our pie crust in the oven. We're gonna let it stay in here. We're gonna keep an eye on it. Probably no more than five to seven minutes, but we're gonna keep checking on it because I don't want it to overcook. All right, so let's do that. Make sure it's in the center rack on a uh, baking, uh, baking uh, pan, and we're gonna get it cooking. All right, so while we're waiting on our crust to uh, get uh, halfway done, what we're gonna do is make up the egg wash. We're gonna have for the top. So you only need one egg, just mix it around. You might add probably a tablespoon of water. In and out, it depends on if you want. You know, you can skip this step, but this uh, brings a little sheen of shine to the top of your pie crust. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side uh, in the refrigerator and get ready to assemble everything once the crust comes to a point of uh, firmness. All right, so now, the crust is done. You want to have it about this done. This is not fully uh, cooked all the way through. Uh, it stayed in there for about about five minutes on uh, 400 degrees. So what we're gonna do is is open up one can of uh, vegetable and beef. And what I did was I drained all the liquid out because you don't want to have too much liquid in your pot pie. Mind you, it is a can. Remember, it's, it's built for a soup. So remember that you know it has all the potatoes in it. So just spread it around. You know what I'm looking for just. You know, uh, and, and some of it will absorb up through the uh, pie crust. All right, so I put that in there. And what I did was I didn't use all the, I'm using a half a can of the next one, the next uh, uh, can of beef and potatoes. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I didn't take all the juice out of here because it's a lot much more thicker because I wanted this, this one, but I'm not gonna use all of it, just a little bit. All right, so about a half a can of the next one. That's as much as it'll fit, you don't want to over flow it. So let me get on to uh, getting the top done and out the package and I'll show you a symbol of this. First thing first is roll out your pie crust. All right. Now you can get this from the store. It feels very whatever you like. Just drape it open. Make sure you try to center it as much as you can. And what I'd like to do is roll and press all the way around. So just roll and press. Roll and press. Like I said, this is one reason that you don't uh, cook your dough all the way to cook a steel, you know, come together with the bottom crust. Now you can roll it under it. Let me show you the both ways. You know, I like to roll it on top. This is my preference. But you can roll and tuck under the bottom if you like. It holds just as much, just the same. Just go all the way around the same way. Pretty much done. Like I said, it's not supposed to be cute. If you want to make a little design, you can. Just put the two fingers together. Go around and squeeze. Squeeze or pinch. However you like. All right, you guys. Now let me finish doing this. And I will show you, you know, by putting on the, you know, um, egg wash. Right, so before you add the egg wash in, you want to make some slices. So uh, this is so it won't bust. 
when it's actually baking because it will just will rise. You can make a little design if you like. And that's all you got to do around it. You don't have to do as many, but you know, I'm just cute about it. All right, so next, what you want to do? This is up how you apply your egg wash. So, like I said, if you you know don't put too much, just go around it. And this just brings a little sheen of shine to it. You know, if you've seen my last uh, pot pie, this, I mean, most of you guys probably came over from my latest pot, I mean, my pot pie video that went viral. You know, um, so thank you all for joining. You know, um, this is another simple and easy one with the same methods, but a little bit more, a little uh, more easier to put together. It don't take you so long, but you know, all of them are pretty good. And that's all you need, guys. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna stick it back in the oven, oven on 400 degrees. And it come, when it comes to temp or color, that's when we're gonna take it out. Because everything else inside is fully cooked. All right, see you when it's done. Thanks for coming on through, you guys. The pot pie is done. Crust is amazing. And I'm glad you're hanging in there with this very simple and easy pot pie from a can, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.